sensation. Just click on my yarn lady or click the subscribe button. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Yarn Sensation, and I am so happy that you have decided to spend a little time with me today. And what I have designed is this cute little flower. with a slip knot chain two place eight half double crochets in that second chain from the hook place your stitch marker in the last stitch made Row two, place two half double crochets in each stitch around and we will meet back at the stitch marker. <clears throat> place your last two half double crochets in that same stitch with your stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and place it in the last stitch made. Round two, you will place one half double crochet in that first stitch, two half double crochets in the next. That will be the pattern. Repeat around one half double crochet, two half double crochet, and we will meet back at the stitch marker. Complete your last two half double crochet in that same stitch with your stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and place it in that last stitch made. Next round, place two half double crochets into the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next and one half double crochet in the next. That will be your pattern, so repeat around two half double crochets, one half double crochet, and one half double crochet, and we will meet back at the stitch marker. Complete your last half double crochet in the same stitch with your stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and place it in that last stitch made. Next round, you will place one half double crochet in that first stitch one half double crochet in the next, one half double crochet in the next, and two half double crochets in the next. So you will repeat that pattern around, back to the stitch marker, one half double crochet in the first three stitches, and two in the next. And we will meet back at the stitch marker. Complete your last two half double crochets in that stitch with your stitch marker. 
Remove your stitch marker and place it in that last stitch made. For our next round, we will complete one half double crochet in each stitch around. And what we will do is meet back at the stitch marker. Complete that last half double crochet in that same stitch with your stitch marker. Remove that stitch marker and place it in that last stitch made. For the next round will be a decrease round. So you will place one half double crochet in that first stitch, one half double crochet in the next, one half double crochet in the next, and complete a half double crochet over the next two stitches. That will be the pattern around. So in the next stitch, one half double crochet, next stitch, one half double crochet, and next one half double crochet. That's a total of three half double crochets and then complete your half double crochet decrease and repeat the pattern around and we will meet back at the stitch marker. Complete your last half double crochet decrease ending in that same stitch with your stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and place it in that last stitch made. Okay, so our next row will be a decrease as well, half double crochet decrease round. In the next stitch, one half double crochet. Next stitch, one half double crochet. Complete your half double crochet decrease. And repeat the pattern around, one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Then your half double crochet decrease over the next two stitches and we will meet back at our stitch marker. Okay, complete that last half double crochet decrease ending in the stitch with your stitch marker. Move your stitch marker up to the last stitch made. To get started for the next round, the first thing you want to do is turn your work. You will be looking at the right side once you turn your work. And what you can do if you do not want to center before we start the next round, go ahead and close your center. As I did close my center as well. So next you want to chain a total of eight. Once you have your eight, you want to skip seven stitches and when you're looking at it this may look like a stitch but it is not it's where we completed that last half double crochet decrease so start with the next stitch and just count over seven one two three four five six seven and in this eighth you want to complete a half double crochet Once you complete that half double crochet, you want to complete a half double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And you will repeat that around, completing half double crochets over your two stitches until you get to your stitch marker. And I will complete this step with you. And that's all we're doing, just going in every two stitches, completing that half double crochet decrease. And for our next round, we will be placing one single crochet in each stitch around. And what we will do for the chain is you'll be completing the single crochet in the chain not around the chain so let's just go to our first chain 
one single crochet and just continue across this chain you should have a total of eight single crochets and complete that last single crochet and then you just want to move over to your next stitch and complete a single crochet in the next one and complete the last one in the stitch marker remove your stitch marker okay for our, our next round you want to slip stitch in this next stitch chain one place one single crochet in that same stitch one single crochet in the next that'll be two in the next three in the next four next you will complete a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches pattern repeats one single crochet in the next four stitches complete a decrease over the next two stitches one single crochet in the next one two three four stitches and you will join into that chain one for our next round in this round we'll start the petal for the flower and I do apologize for my voice today I don't know what's going on we will continue to work through it so let's chain two and in that same stitch and it may be tight but right in there let me see if I can zoom in so right in this little stitch right here where that chain two is coming out of you want to place a total of three double crochets Once you complete the three double crochets, slip stitch in the next stitch over. Slip stitch in the next stitch. And slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain two. into the next stitch slip stitch into the next and right where your chain two began right here you will slip stitch so um this is what we have we have created a total of five petals we have our little pocket and I will show a video at the end what great use this could be and what you can do is once we complete it you'll be able to see it better but it's made to push down pop up if you want to fill it with anything 
So for the next row, but what we will be doing is creating petals at the base of our five petals going around. So hopefully I can get some closer shots for you as well. So what you have when you did your four double crochet right here, you have a little post. So we will be making four double crochets around that post. And then you have this center in between each petal. So you have, once again, two posts, one, two. What we will do is place four double crochet around the post here. And then you'll go to your next petal, post here. Remember, in between, and a, we'll do another four double crochets in here. And we're just repeating that pattern around. But don't worry, I'll show you. So once you join chain one, turn your work, wrap your yarn around your hook, place it beneath that post, post sitting on top of your crochet hook, pull your yarn beneath the post, go through two loops, and then two. And you just want to repeat completing your double crochets until you have a total of four. Once you have four, you want to slip stitch around that same post. And that first petal is complete. Next, you want to go to the next post Remember, in between, and you will complete a double crochet around that post. And you need a total of four. And complete that slip stitch. So you have created two petals. So what you want to do is just complete the same steps back around until you meet this first petal and we will meet back there. Okay, so I am completing my last petal. So I completed my four double crochets last petal of this round, but I will be changing colors. So if you're not changing colors, then go ahead and complete that slip stitch. But if you are changing color, you want to start your slip stitch, lay your first color aside, grab your second color, and instead of pulling this first color through, just pull your second color through and complete that slip stitch. Chain two. Okay, after you chain two, turn your work and we will be working on the second round of petals stitch in the same stitch move on to your next petal find that fourth one and complete those four double crochets and you just want to repeat this pattern around until you have placed your four double crochets on the fourth double crochet of each petal. And we will meet back at the end.
Okay, so you have created your cute little flower. I just left a couple of yarn tails just for a cute little design.